Hi, and welcome to this video. So today we're going to talk about part number two of update 15. Now, it's also just called update 16, but they do call it part number two. They promised us a picture of the hardware. Well, this is what we have. So let's talk about what we have right here, and let's try and recap the text that they also gave us in this update. First of all, they're showing us a significant change in the hardware, and I don't really know which one is one. I it, it's it's a little difficult to say. Uh, I haven't exactly read the text that thorough, but you know there are two different models here, and we can see there are some changes going on. Also, they are talking about that there are some refinement of some components of the sub gigahertz transceiver module some display integration stuff and some with button layout you know so that's general things that they changed for us the overall message of this update is something like that they promised and they're going to show us that there are some changes as you can see they do show these in the hardware um, and then they talk about it's difficult to be them and well yeah i guess some things like that and they do also talk about that they are thanking us for our patience and support. And it does also seem like that they are willing to share some things, but not willing to share everything. Kind of leaves us behind in a dark light saying, hmm, why am I not receiving any actual photos of the lab? What about the videos we talked about? What about the things we need as backers to really trust this project? When are we getting things like that? Or is it actually necessary? My overall concern for this project is the lack of communication from Master Tech. They do show some things. They do talk about, ah, let's just take one example. In update number 15, they said soon we will get this update. It took around a little month. Now that is not soon compared to the normal update rate they do withhold. So I would say they just kept their time. Anyways, they're actually giving us something, but what they're giving us is not really something that I'm going to say as a backer, also as a YouTuber. I don't really see these this update as a groundbreaking thing. If they are now at an actual refinement area where they focus on the motherboard should we call it that motherboard and they are changing some things also they're talking about the mold it's like the, the we made great stride in functionality and and are fine-tuning critical aspects of the radio control radio frequency functions uh, additionally work continues in refining the graphical user interface to ensure it's a clean intuitive and ready to deliver excellent user experience so they they haven't really created these kind of things and now the problem occurs the original product before this was finalized on kickstarter when i mean finalized i mean that all backers bought their access as backers whenever the campaign runs out the kickstarter project starts and then boom so before that what they shown was just Something that looked like they already had some of the things ready and we just needed a few things, you know, done. And then we could get the product, but they continue to push the timeline. We also noticed that they haven't pushed the timeline for quite a few updates now. It was a time back in update 12 or whatever it was. They talked about timeline issues and they pushed it again and so on. Now... We are seeing no timeline stuff. They don't talk about timelines. Well, they do actually talk about that. They are eager. We are eager to hear about delivery timelines. Sure. But they also say that they are taking a cautious and deliberate approach to ensure provide the most accurate information possible. This basically means that they know they did not provide the best accurate information in the past which is also something that concerns me so there are so many things you can say that the monster tech guys m1 whatever you're going to call them these days they just lack of control the lack of 
interest in the process, actually delivering real quality news for the backers is something that they actually haven't done well. So I'm really sorry to say that I'm becoming more and more skeptical when we will see this product. I'm not convinced that this is a scam because they, uh, we're still seeing stuff. We're still getting updates. If it was a scam, we'll probably not have taken to this part anymore. But I would say there's a good chance they might fail and have to, well, just say, sorry, guys, we tried. We could not get anywhere. Too many problems. Sorry. And then people can say about what the mother would like to say. But, you know, in my imagination right now, if... If they do their work right, shortly after New Year, they say, we shall update a timeline that reflects the remaining steps in the process. So now that will give us the steps in the process, fair enough. What people want is like, when are we getting this device? Already now, we are seeing some comments coming in. People are sounding like, yeah, like, yeah, it's not really... Again, refund, um, nothing really interesting, you know, I don't know about that. Um, there's not much of, you know, enthusiasm in, in the, some of the baggers at the moment. And I really feel sad for the project as it is right now. Well, but let's be positive anyways. So now I, I also been negative and, you know, not providing all my happy thoughts. Let's talk about my happy thoughts. I'm really happy that they're actually sharing something about the project to us. They're showing us some pictures. It, this looks like real work, okay? So I cannot take that away from them. I did these kind of things before with Raspberry Pis, and it looks exactly like any other table, some units and so on lying up on, on, on a board, and a table, I'm going to call it. And this is actually how they look. So that's really good that they are showing us something that, are, that there actually are different, and I, I guess that's fine. But I don't really think that now it's going to become less positive. But I don't really think they really did a good job on informing the backers of the process. They're just making up some decisions, doing some things, not really thinking too much about the backers. That is actually a problem. The positive part also is that they are continuing to do some refinements, fine tuning, and now they want to give us a more accurate timeline to follow next year. Now, I kind of predicted this. I said in one of my earliest videos or earlier videos about this project that I didn't really, I think I actually said that. I didn't really believe that we're going to see this this year, but I really hoped that we would. Well, I guess I was right this time. We did not see it this year. Now it's kind of too late right if they haven't even started shipping so they cannot the time is out so this is a project that's gonna you know take its toll but let's see what happens in the future next year how far we're gonna go before they give us an actual device or will they now it's time for you what do you think about this you know drop a comment below let me know what your thoughts are about this project. If you're a backer, also just write it in the comment below and let me know what you really think and feel about this product. I will try and engage with as many comments as I can, but I cannot promise to engage in everyone. So thanks for tuning in on my channel. I really hope that you got the update that you were waiting for, but I guess you already knew what was going up or what is coming down. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing just that. Also click the notification button to get the notifications whenever I release a new video. And I just want to say Happy New Year. We're going to welcome a new year 2025. We'll bring bright things to us, new videos, more content, and hopefully we're going to get this device.